Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I do bookish lifestyle and planning content here on YouTube. And today is another lifestyle slash pregnancy video. I know I've been coming out with a lot of these recently, but as we're coming down to the wire, I'm just making more of them, trying to put them out as spaced out but so it makes sense at the same time timeline wise so I hope you're enjoying these little pregnancy videos and I have a few more other videos coming out extremely soon but this is kind of a lifestyle plus pregnancy we are cleaning in this video I'm gonna talk about this coming week that we are in it is Monday August 19th so yeah let's just dive right in it is a dark gloomy day here today so I thought this was the perfect time to film this video so as I said it is August 19th a Monday and we are three days away from due date it's 11 37 so we'll say four days but yeah it is baby boys due date this week so I want to keep moving as much as possible and with doing that I have my planner that I already planned out for the entire week of what I wanted to do each day, what our meals are gonna be, appointments I have this week. Um, so it's gonna be quite busy, but I wanna do this as a week, at least until Wednesday, because due date is Thursday. So um, I know he's probably not gonna come on due date or early, statistically speaking, it's very rare. Hopefully we'll go till due date. If not, this video will end on Wednesday. First things first I want to talk about is the house and prep for baby. All the prep is done pretty much so far. The only things that we have left is to grab our last minute things like toiletries and stuff like that. We or I have to get all of our dog's things together because my in-laws will be coming to pick her up to watch her while we're in hospital. And I just want to make it as easy as possible for them. So I want to put, you know, a couple days worth of food in a container with her scoop for them. I want to get poop bags, her leash together, her crate up that kind of stuff so everything's ready for them and they don't need to run around and we're not worrying if they have everything because that's something that I would do so I want to do all of that I also am trying to keep up well both me and my husband are trying to keep up on the house so we've been we should be doing this but you know life happens and it doesn't happen every single day but we've been really adamant about doing and putting away the dishes tidying when we're done um, normally we leave the kitchen for a few days and then we'll kind of tidy it my husband does dishes and I put them away in the morning kind of thing but we've been trying to be very diligent and keeping on top of tidying the house so when we do come home with baby boy it's a calm environment we don't have to worry about anything so we've been really diligent on keeping up on keeping our home tidy as possible i think that's it home wise it's also a lot easier when a quarter of our house is not being used at the moment because we're redoing our room and baby's room <laughs> which you will see as well as the office our bed room is the office at the moment <laughs> Um, which those videos will be coming probably a few months from now because of what we're doing in there, but I digress. That's what we're going to be doing today. So I want to give things a quick wipe down. Um, there are dishes for me to put away. I want to make our bed, tidy our bedroom. There are laundry and clothes I want to fold and put away as well. So you'll come along with me on that. But yes, yeah, so self-wise... I want to take a shower. I'll show you the products that I'll be using at that time. I want to do my hair, which I did as like a practice run last week and it lasted really, really well. Well, I guess a week and a half ago. It's lasted extremely well. I'm happy with it. I think it'll be perfect for hospital um, and not having to worry about anything. Um, so we're going to take this down. I'm going to do a wash day either today or tomorrow. Again, I'll show you all those products at that time. 
and we're just gonna go room by room, day by day. And until we get to the hygienic portion of this video, I think I'll leave it as a silent video. So let's start tidying this household. good morning it is the next day it's Tuesday 
Yesterday you would have saw me clean the kitchen. Today is the bedroom. We changed the bed sheets yesterday, but I need to change the duvet cover, put away laundry, and just tidy in there a little bit, uh, wipe down the shelving and stuff. So we're gonna do that together today. I have an appointment today, so I drove Ty into work. So I was up at like 5.30, so I'm quite tired. I may take a nap later this morning or this afternoon. Baby was also really active last night, so I didn't get a lot of sleep. <laughs> I'm running on very little sleep at the moment. So I think I'm gonna make a tea, orange pico, and some breakfast in my belly. I had an orange, but just to satiate me while I drove Ty to work. Well, he drove, I ate, and then I drove home. Let's make a tea, have some breakfast, tidy the bedroom, have a shower, go to my appointment. Then we're just gonna chill for the afternoon, probably edit this video thus far of whatever footage I have. That's pretty much the plan for the rest of the day, to be honest. Not a whole lot going on, but we'll see how much I actually get done with being this tired, but I'm hungry. So let's go get some breakfast. So it is much later. It's like 8.40 now. I'm actually gonna leave in like an hour because I went through the kitchen and made a list of things that I need to pick up. So I think I'm gonna stop in at Walmart before my appointment so I can just leave going the other way out of town um, and come back home. So I just wanted to go over all the products that I'll be using. I'm not washing my hair today only because I also want to blow dry and rebraid it and I think I want to do that tomorrow because I'll be home all day and it's like the day before due date so it'll last me at least a week from then till next Wednesday at least. I also want to pick up a hair mask and a few other things that I'm going to need to wash my hair and style it. I'm running out of gel and edge control and all of that stuff so I need to pick some things up today for that wash day. First things first, brushing my teeth. Face wash is the Tolrain cleansing and makeup removal f removal fluid, face and eyes. This is for dry skin. I have extremely dry skin, so this has been helping a lot. My body wash is I have two in here, but this one is just, uh, what's the brand? Soft. It's like peony and something. I'll, le I'll put a photo in of what it looks like. And that's pretty much it. I'm just going to do a body shower when I get out. Vaseline for the lips and face. I live by this stuff. My skin has never looked better, never been more moisturized. For deodorant, I use the Dove Clinical Protection. I really love the original Clean as well as the Cucumber scent. I don't know if they come in more, but those are my two. The Cucumber one is my favorite though. Normally, I need to pick up another one of these, but I'm using the Umbrel, which is packed away at the moment. So I'll need to get that out. But I'll use the Torrain Sensitive Cream UV. This lasts so long, but I literally ran out. This is empty, I need to throw it away. Um, and then the Attitude Blooming Belly Stretch Mark Prevention Oil. This is fantastic. The packaging is all cardboard and it's like a little push stick. And it's fast, it's easy. It's really great, especially when you're on the go. And I also have the La Roche Posay Lipicar AAP Plus M Triple Action Balm Anti Aging Repairing Immediately Soothing Cream, which I love because I don't know what's going on with the Ontario weather, but she's not supposed to get over 17 or 18 today, depending on where you are in my area. It's August. We ain't supposed to be having this weather till late September so <laughs> anyways definitely using this today so those are all the products I'll be using for my sh body shower today I will come back to you when I'm done
everybody. I left you yesterday before I went to my appointment, I think, and I never got back to you. That's because I had a lot to deal with yesterday. It was very busy. As you saw yesterday and then this morning while I was making my coffee and grabbing my water, that we have like a little island thing in our kitchen now and we had put some food on the bottom shelf of that and <sighs> our dog got into the mini wheats yesterday. So when I got home from my appointment, I had to clean up mini wheats. At least they were dry. So our dog had got into those. So I cleaned that up, did a few things. I ate, I put away groceries, relaxed for a little bit. And then I had to leave to go get my husband from work. And then we got home, he showered, and then we left. We had to go up to my parents' house. And then we went up to visit some friends who also just had a baby. And then we didn't get home till like eight, nine o'clock. I didn't get to update you guys yesterday. <laughs> so I did nothing in the bedroom. So today is gonna be a living room and bedroom day. And I'm gonna take you along with me. If I'm feeling up to it, we may do the bathroom, but I don't wanna overdo my back. We are gonna just kind of go with the flow and see where today takes us. I'm gonna probably go grab some breakfast, drink this coffee, and it is Wednesday. So tomorrow is due date. Obviously, I don't think he's coming on his due date, but it would be nice to have everything kind of done beforehand. The kitchen does need a good tidy too, but I'm just gonna wait for my husband on that one and we can do that tonight together. Anyways, let's go get some food because I'm hungry. <laughs> So I watched some Exo McKenna while I ate breakfast, finished one of my water bottles for the day. I like to drink around, this one is 32 ounces. I have a bunch of 32 ounces. I have a 40 ounce. I have a gallon one and I have these all around the house. <laughs> First water bottle is down for the day, which I like to drink around if I'm gonna do the 32 around four or five, just to make sure things are moving good within my body and um, I'm staying well hydrated. I'm gonna drink my coffee, well sip my coffee as I do the bed, but that means I have to disturb someone who's looking very comfortable at the moment in there autumn mommy's gonna have to disturb you because i want to make the bed you can see your little eye open at me so that's the plan i just want to clean the living room is actually extremely tidy i just need to wipe down the surfaces and vacuum so it's not that crazy um but my husband has some clothes i need to put away for him i said that i would and i want to definitely wipe down the shelf on my side of the bed and then change the duvet cover i don't need to change the sheets we did that not yesterday the day before i'm gonna put on some music and get moving
is done. I took a little break, had a call with my mom, threw in a load of new baby stuff that we really need to have washed and um, dried. Autumn is outside, so we're gonna tidy this space. So we're gonna tackle that and then give a quick vacuum and then I'll be done for the day. But I think I'm gonna take this down, do an oil treatment, so then when I shower tonight, we'll be good to go. Feel good about that plan. So let's get started. <music> Bedroom's done, living room is done, vacuuming is done. This area is pretty much done. It's literally just the things I'm using today. Baby area is done. Um, I brought up the humidifier because there's something wrong with it and I want my husband to look at it because the air in our house has been really dry. He's been waking up with like stuffy nose, kind of feels like he's getting a cold and then it goes away throughout the day. So. And I've been waking up throughout the night and my throat is dry, my nose is dry. And then I wake up in the morning feeling also stuffy and we're not getting sick like I don't feel sick. I think the air in our house is just really dry and I think that's been messing with us a little bit. So I brought the humidifier up. Um, hopefully he can fix it and our house won't be so dry, especially for when baby comes. But I'm just gonna tidy honestly it's all my husband's stuff like bandana for when he's working his safety glasses headphones his permanent markers that he uses all the time i'm gonna put them in his little dish and then that's done so i'm not gonna show that but this feels good it's just dishes in the kitchen so we'll do that together when he gets home and then tomorrow will be bathroom my back is getting quite sore so i'm gonna stop you saw that i wasn't planning on but i did take all the cushions off the pillows and the couch cushions and i really want to get a steam cleaner for our couch because it really needs a steam clean it hasn't been like scrubbed with a brush and like soap in quite a while probably since around when we got it and with autumn and the dander and it being summer and she's rolling around in grass and all of that I'd really like to clean the couches before baby comes so we'll see if we do that or if my husband and I will just go and get like a something to clean the couches with but I need like an upholstery cleaner and I don't have one so I'm not going to tackle that today either and I should have taken the cushions off of these chairs because they do come off and we also have a footstool that autumn uses to get on the bed because our bed is so high i should have washed those i'll just wash them with the du uh, the duvet cover i took off and call it a day but as of right now i am done my back is sore i'm hungry it's 11 40 so it's around lunchtime, and i feel very accomplished so we'll see if I do it tomorrow, but tonight is self-care night. I am going to have a nice long shower. If my back is feeling up to it, I'm gonna probably rest it for the rest of the day and just do some computer work and some editing. Um, so I should feel better. I transferred all of the footage that I filmed today and yesterday onto the computer. So I think I'm just gonna edit up to what I have, including this clip. And I will probably catch you guys tomorrow, honestly. Hello and good morning, everybody. It is due date day. Obviously, I feel fine. Nothing's happening. Which I didn't think it would. We're gonna do a little 
get ready with me, a little glow up, a little prepare the self for baby. We are going to wash this hair. Yesterday I put in an oil mask with some conditioner, let that marinate pretty much all afternoon and all night. Hair's looking a little crazy, but yeah, we're going to wash the hair. We're going to blow dry. We're going to braid it up wash the body we're gonna do a full body everything shower today and i'm excited is that a spider web it's a big ass spider web you only put that there yesterday okay i have to investigate that i'm so sorry my brain is all over the place i just happened to look out the front window and saw this big spider web okay i'm not a big fan but anyways that's what we're gonna do today after I deal with that nonsense and grab the vacuum. I'm gonna bring you along with me throughout the whole process. Make sure you hydrate, make sure you eat, relax your jaw, relax the shoulders, take a deep breath, and let's get started. First things first, some breakfast, cause I'm hungry. Okay, so just a quick breakfast. I have some avocado toast some yellow kiwi or golden kiwi and an orange got my little coffee and my water i'm gonna eat this i'm so excited for this breakfast and then i'll catch you guys in the bathroom when i am ready for my shower Always stay hydrated after a hot shower. Number one tip. Okay, so fresh out of the shower, towel, towel. And I'm gonna go through what I use in order for an everything shower. So first I get in, first thing I'm gonna do, my hair. Also, before I go in, I take off all of the jewelry that I have. I like to go in with the Maui Moisture Scalp Care clarifying shampoo and then the rejuvenating conditioner. I use the shampoo, I go in twice. First time, just a, a, a normal shampoo, just to get all the buildup and stuff out as much as possible, especially because I had the conditioner and oil for my hair from yesterday. Then I'll go in with this and my scalp massager and I'll probably scrub for about two or three minutes, really lathering that in, getting it good and clean. And then I'll go in with the conditioner and I only use this to brush through or comb through my hair. I don't really use it for its benefits unless I'm actually showering and I just comb through my hair with a wide tooth comb. And then I picked this up. It's the Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Deep Moisturizing Mask with sea kelp and argan oil. And I went after I brushed through or combed through my hair, I go in with this and I can finger detangle and make sure every strand is coated. While that's sitting is when I'll go in with my first cleanse, which is just a Dove Far Soap. I am using, I use the whole line. I bought it all at once. It was my summer scent, if you watched a video a few back. And it's the Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. This is the Herbal Sugar Scrub uh, Exfoliate Polish and Hydrate. I love this stuff, especially for my belly. It's not super abrasive, but it feels like it's polishing your skin. I don't know, like my skin just always feels so good after using it. I'll rinse out the conditioner because I used to get really bad back knee, and I think it was because the last thing that I would do is rinse out my conditioner. And a few years ago I learned not to do that and to do that before you do like your last soap. Then I go in, it's in a glass bottle, but I go in with the Tolrain La Roche-Posay Dermo Cleanser. Um, this is for dry and sensitive skin. Love this stuff. I go in with the Hemp Sweet Pineapple and Melon Herbal Body Wash. And oh, this just smells so good. It makes you smell like, like tropical vacation. I love it. Then the last step I go in with is baby oil. I learned this trick years ago. And before you get out of the shower while your skin is still wet, go in with 
baby oil, let that sit for a few seconds, and then pat dry your skin. I live by this, especially in the summer for someone who has extremely dry skin. So that's my shower. And shower tools, I use uh, the Dove Beauty Bar for my downstairs areas, and I'll use a washcloth for that area. And then I have two silicone scrubbers, one for the back and for the legs for the pregnant ladies. Get you one of these. Use it for your legs and your feet as well as your back because you can't bend over very well. A life changer. <laughs> and then I have this silicone scrubber that has two different scrubs on each side. But post shower, first of all, face and lips. I just use Vaseline the original healing jelly. Just get a tiny little bit on my hands and that's all over my face. My skin has never been clearer. I swear by this stuff. Deodorant, Dove Clinical Protection. I have tried many, many, many deodorants. I'm an excessive sweater. I always have been. Then again, the hemp sweet pineapple and honey melon body moisturizer as well as their all purpose body oil. And I'll combine these two and put this all over my body. Then we'll get into hair, but we'll come back probably before I start that process. So it takes me a while to lotion my body because I need to sit down and do it, <laughs> especially for my legs and my feet. So we'll get back to you in a second. Hair time. So I think I'm just gonna show you everything that I use and go from there. I like two heat protecti heat protectants. I really like the Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Spray, but I'm gonna use the Chi one today, Thermal Protective Treatment. The blow dryer I now have is one of these Revlon um, blow dryers. I really like this. Just go in small sections, it's fantastic. I will not be straightening my hair today, just blow drying it. So those are the only two things I'm really gonna use, plus some hair clips. For the braiding portion of my hair, that's where things get a little more interesting. So I just got this gel, the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Plus Flaxseed Strong Hold Styling Gel with Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Apple Cider Vinegar from Shea Moisture. I'm gonna try it out, see how I like it. After I blow dry though, I really love the OGX Renewing Argan Oil of Morocco, Weightless Dry Oil Mist. I'll put this all over my hair when I'm done blow drying it, and it makes it feel really smooth. And then for the actual strands, like sections when I'm braiding, I'll go in with the gel or grease, whatever you want to call it, and then I'll also go in with the Garnier Sleek and Shine anti Frizz Serum almost out of this but it feels really good keeps my hair hydrated when it's in those braids and the other two things that I well other thing that I really love is the let's jam condition and shine gel extra hold I mostly use this for parting my hair to get those really nice sleek parts as well as my edges when I'm done so I don't know I'm gonna go on with this today see how it works but I'll probably still use this for parting and stuff because it's a thicker gel. This seems like a actual gel, like it's movable. This doesn't move in the container. So we'll see how that goes. You need a whole nother shower after you blow dry your hair. Because I do. I feel that. Hair is blow dried. Take all of my stuff out of here. And let's go get some food. Had lunch. I had some nachos with mozzarella and chicken bacon. And now we're going to get into braiding up this hair. I'm going to time lapse it. I'm going to play some NF. And yeah, go from there.
one side is done and now just to repeat it on the other <laughs> I'm not gonna show that footage I'm just gonna do it hair is done okay so that is the end of this video it was quite a long one but I wanted to take you along this week with me prepping and preparing for baby what I'm doing housewise selfwise all of that jazz I will still do tarot and stuff but I don't think I'm gonna show that I think I'll do that before bed do a good stretch and start bouncing on my yoga ball so thank you so much for watching this video if you are still here and I will catch you in my next one. Bye!